of the ways to really differentiate you from your competition is to bundle different products together so you have a more valuable package for your customers than your competition has. Right. So especially when you're selling your products via Amazon FBA, that can be a really good idea to take multiple products and put them together into one thing that works well together. And then you have a bundle that you can sell. Right. And so far, so good and kind of makes sense to do that. But usually when you start sourcing these things, you realize how horrible it is to communicate with all of these different uh, manufacturers or sellers of the products to then put it together into one thing. And uh, you, it, it can be really, really frustrating. And that's basically the reason why I have a business. And for any one of you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Niels Ulrup. I'm living in China since 2013. And one of the businesses that we run in China is a sourcing agency. So where we help you source your products on the ground in China. And today I want to share a clip with you where, I, where we really go over um, how do you bundle products from different suppliers into into one product and how does the process work and how we usually do it and therefore what I want to show you today is a clip that I took out of a whole interview that I did with my project manager um, so her name is Carmen she's also a freelancing sourcing agent and she's has a lot of experience um, helping private label sellers and Amazon sellers and you know just just brand owners to bundle their products into one package so that they have an advantage um, over their competition. And if you are one of the people that wants to have an advantage over your competition, then this interview is for you. So make sure you watch this and also make sure that you leave comments with questions that you have throughout this interview. So really let me know. Put what you want to know in the comments and I let you know what I know then as an answer to that comment. Also make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell because the full interview is going to be coming out just in a very few days. But if you don't do that, you will miss the whole interview. Let's jump right into the snippet. Yeah. If you don't order a lot or the boss of the company, they don't have this mindset. Now, this is the customer need. Mm. And this will be the future. If they don't think about that, then probably it will be very difficult yeah. to organize. Yeah. That's why I like to work with those younger boss that have the mindset mm. that, oh, this is what the customer needs, like customized box, everything. I have like recently I deal with some, um, and mostly it's like that, like you bundle different products together. I have customer that they need like a party set, mm -hmm. 16 pieces of everything. Yeah. 16 pieces, it was really a mess, like 16 pieces of cup, paper cup, 16 pieces of the bigger plate, the small plate and fork and knife and everything. Mm, I've been there. <laughs> oh, yeah, like if you ask all the manufacturing, mm. no, 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 one package, 1,000 pieces, and then you make yourself. Mm. So how do you deal with that when you have bundles? Like, let's say it's not 16 products. Let's say it's like yeah. you have three different pieces. How, how do you work with companies to, to put that together? How does that, how does that work? Well, then it's a lot of uh, communication. That First of all, I need to find the manufacturer that produces the products. It's first. I will find like multiple, not only one. And first of all, I will use the resource I have already. Mm -hmm. that because I work with them already, they trust me, they will not give me too much trouble. Like, hey, this is not, they, they trust me, I trust them. That if we work in China also, if you work one time, then everything will be easier to talk. Mm -hmm. If you never work with them, they don't really care. So I find multiple suppliers, and then I found the one that they are like willing to do these things that like they have. They understand why you need to do that and not just, hey, I give you like one package of 100 pieces and then you do it by yourself, mm -hmm. you know. So some manufacturers, they can, but it's not too many. I think 20%, 20% of the factory, they will like do this, like, okay, you order with everything, with OPP bag, and then they count on like a few pieces and put in one bag and together, of course, they charge. Yeah, of course. They charge, but not too much. At least they do it. It's, but it's not too many. So that's another reason why you would go with like a with like a service to do it for you, and you wouldn't do that by yourself. Or do you? Cause, oh cause, no! Sometimes we're doing in the warehouse. Yes, you do it. But I mean, yeah. like for for the customers in you know, if you're in Europe or if in you in the US, it's so difficult to bundle this all to 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 communicate with so many different. Oh suppliers, yeah, that's right? definitely yeah, that's yeah. definitely different. Like for example, with the the party set before, you need to find the. One who prepare uh, produce the paper one, like paper cups, paper plate, mm. and they need a balloon. So you need to find a balloon, uh, that supplier, and then normally the balloons for the manufacturing. They don't produce one package like ten pieces or twenty pieces. One package is like one hundred pieces. Yeah. So 
but you don't need 100 pieces of balloon in your party, right? <laughs> you are not going to use it. So you need to like count mm -hmm. different color, mix together, and put in one, maybe like 20 pieces or 30 pieces of balloon. And this is like a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And I believe my customer, they would never do it by themselves. And besides the balloon, they need the table one, like the table cover. This is another material. It's a plastic. Mm -hmm. And the customer also need to customize print. So he have the design of the print. They need to print on the plate, you need to print on the cup and on the table cover, fog a knife, and then finally a package. Yeah. When you order all the things, it's new. You have the idea, I want to make this product, mm -hmm. but I don't know how big the box needs to be. So we need to do that. We need to talk with all so the supplier. Right? That's that so is difficult. difficult. If you, if you, know, if you don't have specific, it's 20 times 20 times 20. If you have because you know. none of the supplier they know. Yeah. This supplier produce this, they produce this, they produce this. So how to make everything together and to calculate how big the box it is. Mm -hmm. Because when the box is too big, it takes space. So shipping cost will be high. Yeah. It need to be exactly perfect size to save all the cost. Mm -hmm. And this is not easy. So one project like this, how long does it take you from like you, you someone comes to you and say, I want to have the party set from party set to now we're ready to ship. The, the, the order, how long, how, what's the process like? How long does that take? Well, the last time take like one month. Yeah. yeah. And I think one month is great. You know, because have people from abroad that, that we had as customers that have one simple product. Like mm -hmm. it's not a bundle, not anything, and it takes three months just to source it because you need to go through so many samples and so many headaches. So if it's like a set like this, um, it, it, it's crazy. People work on that six months, seven months, eight months just to get, just to get the product. And then in that time, the whole Amazon market space changes. You know, everything is everything is different. I think that's why my customer come to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope this was really helpful to you to learn how it act, how the process goes in, in in bundling different products and how we actually do it and what's a little bit of the challenge in that. We launch a snippet here and there uh, and, and and give you kind of a little bit of an insight of you know what we're going to be talking about. Make sure to subscribe. The whole interview is gold. There are so many gold nuggets that that Carmen is dropping. There are so many things in there that you need to know if you want to successfully source products in China. If now after the video you say, oh, well, that kind of sounds like I don't want to do it. So Niels, how about you and Carmen handle that thing for me? We can do that. The only thing you have to do is schedule a call with me. There is a link below in the description. Just, you know, head over there, schedule a call with me and then uh, Carmen and me jump on the phone with you, tell you all about kind of how we can run uh, your project for your unique situation and you know how that all works out for you. I'm going to see you tomorrow in the next video hopefully. I want to thank you for still being here and watching this and I catch you tomorrow.